So our research shows in the history of the Olympics, no woman has ever beaten a man's speed in the same event. So what really happened when that Chinese swimmer went so fast for a spurt she almost beat Michael Phelps? She won the gold medal. Let's go back to ABC's Bill Weir at the London Olympic Games with some answers. The old slogan, you've come a long way, baby, may seem condescendingly sexist in 2012, but no denying that the best female athletes of today could beat the best men of yesteryear. This weekend, 16-year-old Yi Shi Wen covered two laps of the pool just as fast as Tarzan Johnny Weissmuller did in the 28 Olympics and faster than Mark Spitz in the 69 World Championships. But what has all of London talking now is how her times compare to the men of today. In the 400 medleys, she swam those final two laps almost exactly as fast as Michael Phelps, and in the last 50 meters, was faster than Ryan Lochte. Every time we see something unbelievable, history shows us it turns out doping was involved, John Leonard told a British paper. And though the so-called Mandarin Mermaid passed her drug test Saturday, parents of American swimmers are suspicious as well. If it's within the rules today, they might have to change the rules later when they find out what they did. In China, there is outrage over the allegations and charges of racism. I think the accusations are unfair. People may think Asians are not as strong as Americans or Europeans. But biology tells us that women like Yi can't be faster than her male peers over the long haul because a man's heart pumps about 16% more blood per beat, his lungs hold up to 30% more oxygen, and longer legs mean stronger kicks. So but when it comes to destroying other women, Chinese officials point to her expensive training to explain her explosive times and her physical growth. When she won the Asian Games at 14, she was just over five feet two. She's grown four inches since, and given her huge hands and feet, several former Olympians say her speed spurt is reasonable. My results come from hard work and training, he told the China News Service last night. The Chinese people have clean hands. And among those coming to her defense, uh, Bob Bauman, the man who has been working as a coach to Michael Phelps since he was 10 years old. He says, Diane, this is uh, the result of cynicism that came after all those positive tests from the Chinese in the 90s and some American tests. Marion Jones, you'll recall. So if she is racing clean that fast, she is uh, paying for the sins of the past here at these Olympic Games. Well, that was a sportsman-like thing for the coach to say. Thanks so much again, Bill. We are reporting from London.